If you want more happy than your heart will hold If you want to stand tall if the truth were told Take whatever you have and give it away Grant to her intercession 
that hold Christ in poverty of spirit. We may well contemplate you one day in the heavenly kingdom to our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you, the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen.
reconcile the world to himself, and the good news of reconciliation he has entrusted to us. The Lord be with you. And with his head. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to St. Matthew. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus said to his disciples, If your brother or sister sins against you, go and point out the fault when the two of you are alone. If the brother or sister listen to you, you have regained that one. But if you are not listened to, <coughs> take one or two others along with you, so that every word may, may be confirmed by the evidence of two or three witnesses. If the brother or sister refuses to listen to them, tell it to the church. And if the offender refuses to listen even to the church, let such a one be to you as a denial and tax collector. Truly I tell you, whatever you buy on earth will be bound in heaven, and whatever you lose on earth will be lose in heaven. Again, truly I tell you, if two of you agree on earth about anything you ask, it will be done for you by my Father in heaven. For where two or three were gathered in my name, I am there and I will come. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. When we come to the last sentence of today's Gospel, please. Again, truly I say to you, if two of you agree on earth about anything for which they are to pray, it shall be granted to them by my heavenly Father. For where two or three are gathered together in my name, there am I in the midst of them. What is uh, sentences or what is Jesus what Jesus is uh, communicating us through these sentences. The first thing to note is that this passage could easily misunderstood. Sometimes we may think Jesus telling us that if two or three or two or more people get together and pray that it rains, then suddenly it happens. Is that it means? No. It has a deeper meaning. The key to the understanding this passage found in the last few words. There am I in the midst of them. So this means that the goal of gathering together with two or more people in prayer is to unite our unified prayer to the prayer of Jesus. The Father always hears and answers the prayer of the Son. Thus, this passage tells us that the goal of the gathering together in prayer with others, that is, with the church, is to unite ourselves with the one and eternal prayer of God the Son, Jesus. This is first and foremost fulfilled within the second liturgy, the Eucharistic celebration. When we come together 
Eucharistic celebration, our prayer is always heard. Why? So we may or always think why we uh, give mass intentions. Because we are coming together, together with Jesus, to praise and worship God. We are praying together with God, united with Jesus. So because the Holy Liturgy is the first action of God, the Son which He invites us, the Church, to share. And the prayer that is offered is the one and eternal prayer by which God the Son asks the Father to bring salvation to all those who accept the saving action of His sacrifice on the cross. When we join in this prayer, in Eucharistic celebration, praying and praising together with Jesus, it is gathered. So therefore, today we have to think about coming back to church and joining in the church in the Eucharistic celebration. Why we are inviting people to come and uh, celebrate together in the church and join together in the Eucharistic celebration because when we are celebrating together, we are joining with Jesus the holy sacrifice He offered to Father when we join together in the Eucharistic celebration. So let us come and join together in the Eucharistic celebration so that we may be blessed to have the grace of God in an each every moment of our life, in an each celebration we offer with Jesus. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord God of our creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer, the fruit of the earth, and the work of human hands, which will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. Blessed are you, Lord God of our creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer, the fruit of the wine and the work of human hands, which will become our spiritual faith. Blessed be God forever. Pray, my brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name for our good and the good of all his holy church. We bring the offerings of our devotion to be consecrated by you, O Lord, in commemoration of blessed sin prayer. For by the consolation you give us in this life, you show that we should not lose hope of what is promised for eternity through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just our duty and our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, for the saints who consecrated themselves to Christ for the sake of the kingdom of heaven. It is right to celebrate the wonders of your providence by which you called human nature back to its original holiness 
and bring it to experience of all this uh, the deep promise in the new world to come. And so that all the angels and saints, we praise you as without hands we are praying. Holy, 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 holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, Lord, the Lord of all things. May holy day for these gifts we pray by sending down your spirit upon them like the new God, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered, believing in his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and was more giving thanks and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of God. The mystery of faith. When, when we eat this bread and drink this cup, we proclaim your death, O Lord, until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ. We may be guided into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with our Pope Francis and our Bishop Christian and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them in the light of your face. Have mercy on us, all we pray that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, the Blessed Joseph has house, the Blessed Apostles and all the saints who have praised you throughout the ages. We may bear it to be quiet, spirit and light, and may praise and glorify you to your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, our glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At this day, we come and all the body wine teachings. We dare to say, Our, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come. Thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who sent you your apostles, peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who give our reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you, for this. And with your spirit. Let's offer each other this time.
Love of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. Lord, if I am not worthy, I should enter into my roof. But only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. Glory of Christ. Amen.
falling more closely day by day to Christ, we may merit to be heirs to the kingdom of grace, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with his spirit. May Almighty God bless the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. As he said, go in peace. Thanks be to God. Have a nice and happy day. You too, Father.